Hello guys and welcome to a new bespoke synth tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to send MIDI values out of bespoke so that you can control external gears like synthesizer or drum machines, sequencers and whatever you have at home or in your studio. So before moving on, you can send MIDI values out of your computer in two ways. The first one, which is the cheaper one, is to use a MIDI to USB cable or USB to MIDI cable like this one, which is pretty old. I don't even know where does it come from, but it's a very cheap solution and it does its job. Of course, if you have a large amount of MIDI data that you want to sense and route to many gears it's not the best solution but for the purpose of this tutorial it's a great solution the second one is to use the midi in and out of your audio interface if it has and it can manage uh, midi in my example the focus right has both midi in and midi out so it's up to you to decide which one you want to use of course the midi clock of your external audio interface will always be better than any MIDI to USB cable. That being said, we can start talking about two essential modules in Bespoke, which are MIDI CC and MIDI Output. So MIDI Output, it's pretty straightforward. You select the MIDI device through which you want to send MIDI values. In my example, I want to use my MIDI to USB cable. So I select it and I can use the MIDI CC to select a MIDI CC number. CC stands for a control change. Here on top I can put a table, a reference table. Each MIDI CC number refers to a specific action or function. If I'm not getting wrong, 7 is volume, CC64 is the damper pedal, and you have all functionalities related to musical actions. My Mother 32, it's set up in a way that can receive MIDI CC1 and sends it out of the assignment output here in its patch, patch bay. And the output is connected to the VCF color frequency. So if I select one, which is the MIDI CC My Mother 32 can receive, I send the MIDI CC to the MIDI output and I change this value, I'm going to hear the sound of My Mother 32 being filtered. So let's turn it on. And that was how to send a MIDI CC out of Bespoke. Using the MIDI output, we can send MIDI notes as well. So. We can use a note sequencer. It is pretty straightforward and easy to use. You simply need to turn steps on and off to write a sequence. Uh, the musical scale used is the one that was randomly selected by the transport module. Here we can select to use the a pentatonic one, so it's I hope it will be more pleasant to your ears. Now we take the note sequencer out, send it to the MIDI out. What is cool about using MIDI that notes and MIDI CC can travel simultaneously. So we can send a musical melody and uh, change it at the same time. So notes and modulation. One more interesting feature is that all note effects are uh, using MIDI values, so you can select a different note effects modules like a note octaver, 
where is it okay note october and it will it will be fine i mean you can modify your sequence musical sequence so that was all for today's tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video and if so i invite you to give a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one